Wondering what to see, eat and drink in Hamburg? Well, you're in the right place. Hamburg is the biggest city in Germany. Its history is intertwined with the water and the port that has helped make the city what it is today. Here is a list of must-sees. There's timestamps in the description to help you jump to the different sections. We'll start our tour with the city hall. You can feel the building is from another age as you wander through the building. To get a better insight into the history, you can join one of the daily tours. Keep an eye out for the markets which are frequently held in front of the building, especially the famous Christmas market. The Spiekerstadt or Warehouse Building is the world's largest warehouse district. The buildings are from another time and gets recognised as such. It was awarded the status of UNESCO World Heritage Site in 2015. It's great to wander down the canals with its bridges, calming waters and brick buildings. One of the best ways to enjoy a city so influenced by the water is on the water. You have loads of options to book a ferry tour. An insider tip and more economical option is the public transport ferry number 62, which leaves from platform three. After you've been above the water, how about being under the water? Elbe Tunnel is both an historical gem of Hamburg and marvel for its day. It works as a public tunnel. You can spot the entrance by the Grand Dome building. To finish off the water theme, we end with a visit to a submarine. Yes, an actual submarine. Though not in operation, I might add. The U-Boat Museum is actually a Russian submarine, which was built in the 1970s. If you love your historical war machines, then this is a must. You can admire the inner workings, the conditions the sailors lived in, the cool cogs and dials, along with some fun crawling around. So you must be hungry and thirsty after all that running around. Well, it's time to refuel, refresh with some food and drinks. With such a rich culture influenced by the sea, I recommend a visit to a few restaurants specialising in fish. You have loads of great options around Hamburg. I personally recommend Das Contour, a great little restaurant. I tried a local favourite, Ossop or eel soup. Then Lapskaus, which is corned beef, mashed potatoes with onions, pickled beetroots, pickled gherkin, herring, and to top it all off, a fried egg. Okay, I must admit, the video doesn't really do it justice, but the taste is absolutely amazing. Especially when it's quite chilly outside and you need some good comfort food. Lapkaus is what I definitely recommend. Oh, and I do apologise for my pronunciation. One of the unique things of German beer is the purity law, which says that only four ingredients can be used. Barley, hops, water and yeast which in my mind gives you a better chance of surviving the impending hangover. Why will you get one? Because you have so many choices for great beer with loads of microbreweries dotted around the place. I recommend trying the local brew, Astra. They even have a few bars around Hamburg. And now suitably refreshed, time for some music related must sees. Swing by the Beatles Square to see a dedication to the four boys from Liverpool. Follow the steps of the Beatles through the many Beatles tours. I particularly recommend Hempel Music Tour for a truly fun experience. And still on the music theme, why not see one of the world's most acoustically advanced concert halls? 
the elf harmony or elf for short. The wave inspired shape of the building seems striking from outside and continues to delight visitors inside. I recommend buying a ticket for the tour of the elf. Or the second option is to enjoy a virtual tour on one of the machines in the lobby. Make sure you subscribe as I will be releasing a video with a more deeper look at the elf. And now for some particularly interesting and quirky must-sees in Hamburg. This is possibly my favourite section. So let's get going. Walk along the party road of Hamburg, the Reeperbahn. Once the first call of the sailors when they land, the Reeperbahn still maintains its status as a party area and offers an assortment of fun, vices and distractions. Note that the party doesn't start till quite late in the evening. Plenty of time to nurse those hangovers from the previous night. In the daytime, there are plenty of little streets with great street art to admire. You won't have trouble finding them, they are literally everywhere. And so we end this list with some perspective, more precisely a miniature model exhibition. Imagine some of the best popular places in Hamburg and around the world miniaturised. In its core, it's a railway model with over 15 kilometres of rail track and a thousand trains. Keep an eye out for some amazing detail in the music festivals. The Elf. And the Flower Garden. The changing from day to night even changes the city lights. It truly needs to be seen to be believed. For more information, I'm releasing an in-depth tour of the Miniature Wonderland and tips for those visiting soon. So that's all for now. Check out the blog for this video as well. There's a link in the description. Keep an eye out for my future video Hamburg guides. I'd love to hear what was your favourite must see in Hamburg. And I'll see you at the next video.